Sanders joins Calling All Sports with Rock and Manooch now on Fox Sports 910. That's all it is. But there's a lot of airspace to cover for Milrow. Still looking. Firing. Near corner. That's caught. Touchdown, Alabama. Isaiah Bond. On a fourth a mile. Thank you to CBS for the highlight. Now, folks, Frank is supposed to be on the show with us right now. We have to resuscitate him after what took place in the Alabama-Auburn game. Frank, I'm sorry. That was Manooch. Manooch called for that highlight. It's on him, pal. I'm sorry, Frank. I, I, I couldn't resist. It was fourth and a freaking Uber ride. Yes. You rush to, you drop 25 into coverage. There was folks coming out of the stands, for crying out loud, in coverage. How the hell... Does that happen, Frank Sanders, you being the Auburn alumnus here on the program? Hey, brothers, how you guys doing, man? And Manooch, thank you for punching me in the belly again on a fresh <laughs> Monday. Appreciate that. Oh, happy Thanksgiving uh, to you, too, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all I can say is that I never thought we would be in the game anyway, but to have a chance, and you're right, uh, I just don't I, – I, I can't explain it, man. I just know I've been on the other end of that uh, – other end where – Last second heroics is what just what it takes, and and a quarterback throws the ball, receiver goes to make a play. That's what that's what you do. That's what you hope for. Unfortunately, as an Auburn alumni and fan, I'm just disappointed that you know you just don't have answers for things like that because it makes no sense. You're only rushing two. You're dropping everybody else back. You should be doubling everybody else, but it just kid came and made a play. Now here's the thing: you, so, you rushed, you you rushed two initially, then the third guy came eventually. But Frank, I counted uh, ten Mississippi by the time he <laughs> he got the ball off. We were doing the old oh. street ball back in the day. But by the way, uh, Jackson Groff, our, our fine astute other uh, leg here on the wheel, it's been ten years because I said the, the 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 football gods they giveth and they take it. Do you realize, Frank, you got your last laugh on kick six ten years ago today? When you return that kick out, that fake, that, or excuse me, that field goal all the way to beat one Alabama 10 years ago. So it's funny how it all evens out, isn't it? Uh, it's crazy, right? Like, it's just, uh, even to have that during that timeline, uh, and that was a great moment for Auburn. You know, we, we did a, a number on Alabama in that game with, with the kick six. We were not, we were not a great team as, 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 as last week's record showed. Um, but when it comes to playing Auburn and Alabama, man, it's just to throw the records out the window and you let, you let two teams go at each other for, for 60 minutes and you try to figure it out. And at the end, with, with a couple of seconds on the clock, they came back with a good catch, man. It's, uh, it's crazy, but, uh, what a hell of a game, man. I, I didn't watch, I didn't want to watch the game because I thought we had no chance, absolutely <laughs> none. And they came out and fought and they made, they might, they might have gave, uh, the new coach another year or two on his contract because he, he got guys to rally around a moment that they just could not do all year. And, and to rally after you lost in New Mexico State a week right. earlier. I mean, to get those kids. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody thought, okay, Bama will be up, I don't know, what, 95-3 to three at halftime. But, I mean, it just goes to show these rivalries, especially deep south rivalries like that, um, throw the records out, right, Frank? Absolutely. You saw Kentucky and Louisville. Louisville standing at a 10 and 1 or 11 and 0 record. And Kentucky, 6 and 5 out of the SEC, decided to figure out how to play football one game. And again, this is another team that's across the river from each other. And it just, just doesn't matter, man. The SEC and the way they play football on Two minutes. rivalry week, throw the records out the window, man, and just watch who plays 60 minutes of football. Alabama did a great job. Like they really they have that throw at the end. There's this. Prevent defense never, pre most of the time, doesn't prevent teams from beating you. And that's just the sad part about that statement. I've always said prevent defense is the recipe for losing because you're going, because you're going to, you're going, you're not going to prevent a victory. Frank, uh, quickly, just a couple minutes here. Uh, let's get your take then on what we witnessed yesterday with the Cardinals. Look, Manuch and I have been in this discussion most of the day. Manuch is giving Kyler Murray and the three games that he has played so far a C grade. I'm giving him a B grade. 
Manuch then went on a tirade about how a rookie defensive lineman for the Rams had all these great plays and sacking Kyler Murray and chasing him all over the field, yet he's still giving Kyler Murray a C grade. Where are you, Frank, oh, on the return of Kyler Murray and what you saw yesterday? You know, we talked about this last week, and I said one thing. I said the teams will figure out how to play Kyler Murray in this offense, and that's going to be the transition for him the next couple of weeks. You know, this is a new offense for him. Week one, he looked okay. Week two, they got, you know, it just, he thought he was going to improve a little bit more, and week three, you definitely think he should have improved much, especially against a uh, a division opponent that, that you know very well. But they figured him out, man. They Everyone put put eyes and ears on Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald didn't have a great statistical game versus the Cardinals for adding pressure, but you're absolutely right. That young cat showed up, made a lot of plays, and got Kyler out of out of rhythm. The, uh, st- the stats don't lie, J- JB. They just don't lie. The Cardinals, you know, basically you know, just, just didn't have it. Versus, you know, versus the Rams again. And uh, to me, at the end of the day, Manute, I really feel like they just got out coached yeah. by, by, by the Rams staff. I'm talking just a coaching clinic sure. was put on Absolutely. by the Rams versus the Cardinals in regards to just coaching halftime adjustments, who got the ball in certain spaces, what you could do down and distance versus their defense, what were their weaknesses, and it got exposed between the running, between the running back and the catching part of the running back at the backfield. And on top of that, Frank, uh, I didn't see the energy or enthusiasm I'd seen with uh, a lot of the a lot of the games this year. By the way, our our state forty eight roofing your call question of the day was: After three games, what would be your overall grade of Kyler Murray's quarterback play? And Frank, you can go to at Rock and Manuch on Twitter as well too. And it was A, B, C, or D. Well, B was at thirty percent, C sixty five percent. That's what I voted, and D five percent. So seventy percent. Voted in that C D area, if you will. So I think a lot of folks were starting to see the regression, even though with pressure or not, uh, the true football fans, Frank. You know, Jimmy's one of them basketball oh, guys. Just started stopped. to see what really was all about. Yeah. Now, if I had Jimmy as a teacher, I'd be in an honor roll back in the day at, at, at McClintock High School. I, I would have hated you. He would have been. He ain't. He ain't. He ain't, he ain't great on the curve. He's great on. What has he seen lately? He had a touchdown. What about the other 95 plays he had? That's okay. He's Jimmy. running for his life. I'll take that A-plus in geometry class, for crying out loud. So, yeah, uh, you know, I, I would probably go more C-ish yeah. myself, C-minus more. 24 for 45 for 250 yards. He only had two yards rushing himself, so that means they kept him in the pocket. He didn't try to run the ball much. That could have opened up more of the offense, but I guess that wasn't there. We, we make no mistakes. The Rams, when it comes to playing the Cardinals, they just seem like they got their number. They either make it really physical um, with the running game and, and some and some trickery stuff, but at the end of the day, they come away with W's, W's more easily here out of any other team in the conference when it comes to the Rams versus the Cardinals, unfortunately. You had those uh, steak knives you won there at Exxon a couple years ago with your green stamps. You you put those away, so I did you not? You didn't have those around, out and about? <laughs> Look, I don't know who I'm buying a steak for, but definitely I got some steak knives with some green stuff. <laughs> I thought about you, Frank. As soon as I saw that play, I thought, oh, my you remember God. That, remember those lovely party gifts you'd get oh, once in a while, yeah. Frank? <laughs> Look, all I know is that I, I, all I could say at the end of the game with the teams, definitely when it came to the Auburn Tigers versus Bama, man, all I could say was I've been on that side of the field. Yeah. And I know what it feels like to come up with the winning catch at the end of the, at the end of the game, man. And I know that from one team, it's going to hurt for 364 days until next year. And at the same time, we get an opportunity to play those guys again. That's all. That, that's all that counts is knowing that you get another shot, Adam. Thanks for being a good sport, Frank. We love you, brother. We do, brother. <laughs> uh, it's all good, man. It comes with the wins and losses. Rock's still going to punch him in the throat. I, I, with the Cardinals won't see ten wins, so. You know how he is. <laughs> that is true, Frank. <laughs> All right, pal. Thank you. Have a good night. All right, brother. There you go. That's Frank Sanders. He's a great sport. That's why we love him on this show. And he's presented by the CAZ Sports Bar right